Hey y'all, how's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you to all my subscribers. So today I thought I would scrap some everyday items that we all can find in our household. And instead of throwing them away, I'm gonna show you that you can make some extra money scrapping them. So we got a faucet, we've got a towel rack holder, a coffee grinder. This motor came out of a microwave. We got some ends off of extension cords that are no longer good and a couple valves here. Okay, so let's get to it. So first I'm going to do this and I'm gonna remove these handles first. Garbage. Check the screws to see if they're stainless steel and the magnet doesn't stick. So those are stainless steel. All right, now we got these nuts. Just loosen that up. We'll check that to see if it's brass. Magnet doesn't stick. I'll check it with a file. And those are brass. Next, I'm going to remove this cap here. And I don't see a screw or bolt in here. So I think it's just pressed on. Free. Okay. Now let's check to see if this is brass. And that's a silver color, so this is going to be die cast. That's all right. Check that with a magnet. That piece is brass. Okay, let's get this piece of plastic off of here. There we go. Force, now we got this piece of plastic here. Just gonna whack that with the hammer. That's one way of doing it. Now we've got a clean piece of die cast. All right, now we need to get this brass piece separated from this. Let's see if that's gonna be die cast or brass. Probably die cast. It's silver, so that's die cast, but this stuff up here is gonna be brass, and then we got some copper right here. Now we just need to pound this stuff through. Do it evenly. I'll go ahead and clip this copper right here just to separate these pieces so I think they'll pound out easier. Okay get these o-rings to make it clean and then we will have a clean piece of brass and there that is now we just need to remove these two let's pound these down There's that one. Looks like there's a ring here that I forgot to unscrew. Probably why it was kind of difficult to pound it out. Hope I didn't mess the threads up. Actually, let me check to see if that's brass. So 
that ring is brass so it does not need to come off because this is all brass I will clip off this piece of copper right here there's copper Okay, so we got some clean brass and we got some die cast and a little bit of copper and then the two stainless steel screws. We'll weigh this all up at the end. Okay, let's get to this. Let's check it with the file. That piece is brass. So these just pull out like this. And then I just like to break them in half just so they fit in a bucket better. So they've got some brass. We got a set screw we got to remove. And there it is, that's steel. And then there's another Allen screw right here to separate these two pieces. This will be easy. And that's steel. Check it with the file. Yeah, that's brass. Sometimes they're, they're die cast as well. Let's check this piece. And that is brass as well. Yeah, buddy. More brass. All right, these valves. I'm gonna remove this screw here. That's stainless. Yeah, that's brass. Okay, now we need to remove this nut. I just hold it with pliers and I got my wrench. I'll just unscrew that. And now that is clean. And that is brass. And below here, we're going to pull that nut off because there is a rubber o-ring inside. And it looks like a magnetic washer. So you got to clean that for this scrapyard to give us clean yellow brass. There's that O-ring. Check to see if that's brass. It's brass, baby. And now this. Magnet doesn't stick. That is brass. We got to remove this rubber O-ring. I'll just cut that off more clean brass so yeah yeah man a lot of good brass i'll do this next one off camera all right let's get this coffee grinder scrapped apart we'll clip that off those are brass if you don't know we got two screws down there Pull that off. And there's the inside. We've got a copper motor in there. Actually, before I loosen that motor, this stuff's okay. We'll just clip these wires. So I want to leave that motor screwed down because I got to remove this blade. And this blade, the shaft spins. If I just hold it with my pliers, it should just, there it is. It's just threaded on. Now we can remove the motor. And there is our motor. Let me clean up these wires. Got two screws here to remove. They should all separate. Got to clip that wire. And now here is a motor. Just check it to see if it's copper, not aluminum. And that is copper. I just pry under there to loosen up its stiffness. And 
and that one they just pried out that was super easy sometimes you have to cut it like that and then you just pry it pry it out the other side and there's our steel and then there is our little copper coils I got to clean this tape up and get the rest of the wire off now these right here they're called the brushes and you can see this is gonna be copper pull that out get the second one and now this armature you can just toss into your electric motors there's the spring off the brush Check this stuff with the magnet. It does not stick. So that is all copper. There's two screws left in there. I think they're holding on this piece of metal. Okay, that came out that way. Now we can see we got to push this. Now it's just plastic. And that's stainless steel. So we just got a couple more items to do. First, we want to pull the brass out of this plug here. There it is. Now, there's brass inside here. Now, when they're rubbery, you can't do them, but these ones are plastic. So I just set them in my vise. There's a seam that runs around here. Just setting the seam just above the vise. And they break apart. And in there is the brass. We'll hold and go ahead and pull that insulation off. Now we got some brass and some copper. some brass just set that right there on the edge and I'll give it a squeeze that pops out that center piece of steel comes out and now we're left with a coil of copper so I'm gonna clip it right here so then I can turn this sideways lift it up because I want a clean cut and then I'm going to Clip it right there as best as I can. Just pry those pieces of copper up. They'll break, but that's okay. And on this side, just grab on there and pull it out. And there's some more copper. So I'll get that one out. Okay, now we need to cut this copper off here. One way is you can break off the top of that. And that usually works and then you can just pull it out like this I find that to be a little slow so what I like to do is just to cut along the length of it get my pan and then you just get under there with something small and just pry all that copper goodness out all right let me crunch the numbers and i'll get back to you all right y'all so i got everything calculated up so we got the copper here that's going to be six ounces so that's a dollar ten we've got two pounds two and a half ounces of brass worth four dollars and twenty cents the stainless steel one and a half ounces for three cents the die cast 14 ounces for 15 cents we got the electric motor which weighs 4.35 ounces for five cents we got some insulated wire that weighs one and a half ounce so that's nine cents and then there was about a pound of steel worth about seven cents it's a grand total of five dollars and 69 cents 
And as a hobby, that's not bad. <clears throat> Instead of that stuff ending up in the landfill, take it apart, and make a little extra money. But there you have it. That's how you can make a little extra money scrapping everyday items that we all have in our home. So don't throw them in the trash, scrap them. Thank you all so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps the video. If you're new to my channel and you made it this far, thank you. I'd ask you to consider to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more scrapping videos. Thank you to all of my subscribers and to all the viewers. I thank you so much for being here. Thank you, God, for another wonderful day. Thank you, God, for all the blessings that you have brought into my life. God, I ask that you please bless the people watching this video. God, whatever it is that they need help with, please help them, Lord. You know, if they need help sleeping, bless their sleep. If they need some sort of healing, please heal them, Lord. Just show them that you love them, God. And in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next video.